Right, so here we have the FOD Sports FX6. This is what we all use. Joe's got one, Brad's got one, Chris, Jamie, and now Hannah's got one. This is what you get in the box. That's where the earpiece and microphone goes, and that is where you charge it. And that is the old style Samsung USB. Instructions. is in case you have a open face helmet or a modular helmet that flips up you can stick that on the side that just unplugs we won't need that because we are using it on a four face helmet the other ear pieces they sit inside the helmet so the unit always goes on the left side of the helmet because the uh, cable is shorter so that's the left ear piece, and there's the right ear piece. It's pretty simple, really. So that just plugs into there, like that. Connects to your helmet, and the mic goes on there. I'm going to use this type of mic. Just got Velcro on. That sticks inside. That's the plug for it. It just plugs into this. It's there. That's it, easy as that. And these are like Velcro, stick inside, so you can pull them out. You get spare ones as well. I think you get a couple of sets of them. Same for the mic. It's, just, it's got a sticky bit on the back, and that sticks in your helmet. And it's got Velcro on there, and that just sticks on that. Like so. You get two types of brackets. One that clamps round, not all helmets can use this type of clamp, and it goes on the side of the helmet. Use the allen key that's supplied, which is in here. There's the allen key, there's a charge cable. Yeah, so, or you get a sticky pad one just in case that doesn't fit around your helmet. And once that's stuck on, it just slides in like that, that's stuck to the helmet, like. And you pull, pull that tab inwards and slide slide it upwards like that. That's it. So it's not a bad headset. It's a lot cheaper than the Scala and all the other competitors. It does the job, a fraction of the cost. So I'm just going to put it in Hannah's helmet now. Right, so this is the helmet we're putting it in. I'm going to go on the right side, along here. So what we need to do is take these cheek pads out. All helmets are different. Normally I have buttons here at the front. And it hooks in. So we just pull these poppers off. Like so. Easy as that. That's out. So you can gain access to all this now easily. Same for the other side. It's always best just to pull these out. It slides out like that. And we can put them in afterwards. So, so just see what type of clamp we're going to use. So I don't know whether we're going to use the sticky one or the clamp style. Hopefully the clamp one because it's more secure. Not that I've had a problem with the sticky one because I've used the sticky one on my previous helmet and that's been fine. What we have to do is unscrew these quite a bit. All right, so as you can see, I've slid that up there. That's worked out pretty well. So what we do now is tighten that up.
make sure that's secure. Yeah, that's lovely, that is. That is perfect. Right, so I don't think you can see. Not all helmets have these, so you best check first. There's little indents where these speakers go. See here? That is where your speaker sits in, right there. So what we're going to do, both sides, is pick these up. And we'll stick them in. What we're going to do, stick that in. Right there. Same for the other side. Right, so we've got that. Let's stick that in. Stick that in there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, that's it. Well, the next thing is the wires. Disconnect the mic for now. So you're left with this. The shorter side goes to the left. That is the left speaker. Just gonna push that on there like that. And what we're gonna do is root this underneath all this. So the wire is behind the padding. So I'm just gonna do that. So I've rooted that through now, like so, so I've rooted it through there. Now I'll just push onto the double sided ear pad, like so, you can see it there. So all the wires are neatly behind this padding now, like that. So now I'm going to wire the mic in. You want that out the front. This is the double sided Velcro that might can stick on. So, what I'm going to do is just stick that directly in the middle of the front. Just there. So, I'm going to push that in. I'm stuck to that now. And we're going to plug it in. So we're going to slide the unit on there, like so, like that. Turn it on and make sure it works. Hold the top button. There we go. I can hear the speakers coming out of both sides. Let's turn it off for now. So to turn it off, you hold the top button. flash red and say power off. So what we're going to do now is pull the cheek pads back in and hide this wiring nicely. Got to make sure you don't pinch the wiring as well. Right, so all the padding is in now. I have to run the wire through the front. You'll be careful that you're not pinching the wire across this little lip here. So I have to run it through and bring it around like that because that slides down. I didn't want to pinch the wire. Right, I'm just going to show you how to pair up three of these. So what we have to do is turn them all on. But you can only pair two at a time. So to get them in pairing mode, you have to hold the circle. And it starts flashing like that. And it starts pairing. So if I do that on the second one, And it starts pairing. So if you press that, that should pick it up. So what we've done is held the button down for 15 seconds, gone into pairing mode, and these are both pairing. But now they're both connected. So these two, this helmet and this helmet is connected. So what we do now with the third one, do the same thing. Put it in pairing mode, hold the button, and do this to the second one. Pair it again. 
So now they're both pairing. Sometimes you can encourage it by just pressing the button once. That's it. So all these three are now connected. A, B, C. So you just start off with A, then B, then B, then C. It's pretty simple. If you've messed it up and need to reset it, all you have to do is hold the button. Probably about 20 seconds, I think. Keep holding it. There does the two flashes and that will reset everything. That will take all the memory off. And then you start again. You turn it on and that will pair straight away. Because it's got no memory of pairing. Well, so I hope you enjoyed that little install video. This is the headset I've been using for over a year now. Jody and I use one. Chris has got one. Brad's got one. Jamie's got one. And now Hannah's got one. So I thought I'd do an install video on it. It is a good headset. I will put a link to this in the description below. Highly recommended. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until then, I've been Nick and I'll catch you on the next one. Ride safe.